Shalom. I'd like to give all praise and all honors to Yahweh and Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakradash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us the truth, peace, and salutation to the hopes of the next. Shalom. Welcome to today's lesson. I am your Hebrews, like Brother Meshava, here in the city of Detroit. Welcome. We're going to go straight off into the word. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 7. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and all hands shall be faint. That means weak, You're not having any strength, not being a full force, not having the ability to be of, uh, of, uh, of uh, complete impact. Because we're not going, we don't have any might. As Hebrew, as Israelites, we don't have any might. We don't have no might, no strength whatsoever. We don't have a military. What military do we have? None. What we have is this word. And this word is what we use to hew down the enemy, to cut the enemy down in the spirit. Because that's how you got to fight against Esau is Edom. You, you, you cannot fight against Esau is Edom using carnal weapons. No, 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 no. No, you no, no. You have to use this word for uh, Esau is Edom, you know. But for Malchus, the two thirds, Malchus, that was the reason why you you uh you buy yourself a sword, sell your cloak if you have to, or buy yourself a sword because of Malchus, the, the punk ass. That's that's the one that Peter popped. Peter didn't pop the, the, the Pharisees, and he didn't try to go up against the uh the uh the Roman guards. He only popped Malchus. Malchus was a, uh, represents the two thirds. You see, and so for so uh, he he or and she who has an ear, let him hear. Okay, uh, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart it shall melt. You see, it shall melt. You know, it shall dissolve your heart of mind. Every philosophy, every wicked seed of of falsehood and lies that Esau is Edom has concocted and taught all of this. All of that will be brought down. Shalom, Shalom. One moment. All of that shall be brought down to low and dissolved inside of everyone's mind. You see, they're going to come into understanding, you know, concerning what? The truth. You see, because once Esau is Edom, and start doing his thing, being the sword of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. You see, many people are going to become dismayed, especially especially the black, Latino, Native American, and the women. Once the system, the system being the actual vehicle to maintain carrying false philosophies and different things, you know, allowing a women to have the the uh, 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 a feminist platform that they've been needing. To do what they want to do, that they would have a uh, 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 assert authority over a man, you know, and draw circles around the authority of a man. You see, uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter what, thirty-one verse uh, twenty-two. Do you believe that is? So we're gonna read some of these precepts, and we're gonna go straight, straight off in here. This is Isaiah chapter ten verse three. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come? From uh, from far, you see, from the kingdom of heaven, the Lord, the Lord, shall make sure that when He come, when the time come for those ICBMs to be released, those arrows shot off to the ends of the world, you know, to come down on Idumea, you see, that time is coming, and it's coming soon, you see. Many hearts shall be faint. To who will ye flee for help? You see, because there shall be no one to go to. Once Esau is Edom is brought down. Remember, he is the one that's controlling and running the whole world. Uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24. The world has been handed over into the hands of the wicked. You see, and so who's running the world? The wicked. You see, Esau is Edom. You see, you see, that's, that, that's who he represents. You know, that, that's why he has that, that um, uh, a melanin removed from his skin. You see, and he just got that red skin. You see. You see, to whom will ye flee for help? No one. And where will ye leave your glory? You see, because you cannot leave no treasures here on earth. Thieves will break into it. And if you do not have a connection with Yahweh Shem Yahweh you're not leaving and you're not serving. 
You know about Shimmy on Shine? That means you ain't got no works. And if you ain't got no works, that means you ain't got no faith. You ain't got no faith. You ain't got no works. You ain't got no connection, no relationship with your heart by Shimmy on Shine. So that means you're not storing no treasures up in the kingdom of heaven. You see? So that means you, you, you're going to inherit nothing. You have nothing. You see? You, where, where, where are you going to leave your glory? You see? You can't leave it here on land. You can't pass it down to your children. All that you have, you can't keep. All that you heap up to yourself, you can't take with you. You see? You see? So where are you going to leave your glory? You see? You see? We have to rely on you. How about Shimmy on Shot for our everything and not just Esau is Edom? You see? This is Isaiah chapter 4, verse 10. Without, my, without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners. You see? You see, because really, really, times have gotten to the point where without a man having the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the only thing that he can contain is lies and be prisoners thereof, of the lies, unless he has Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the truth, to free a man, you see, and they shall fall under the slain, you see, you see. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is st stretched out still. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushai made it clear, John chapter 17, starting in verse 9, uh, he prayed for us. He don't pray for the, the rest of the world. He has not, not lost not one of us. You see? He has not lost not one of us. You see? Isaiah chapter 37, verse 27. Therefore, their inhabitants were of small power, you see, not having any might, not having any strength, but of small power. They were dismayed and confounded, you see, you see, those two thirds, the heathens and Esau is Edom shall be brought down to low, have no power and be confounded, you see, because that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is doing making sure breaking down the strongholds of the wicked one, of the evil one, using this word to do so. You see, they were as the grass, you see. And what did you do with grass? Mow it down, you see. That's what the people are, like sheep being led to the slaughter, you see. The grass of the field and as the green herb, okay, as the green herb as the grass of the, the housetops. You see, back in back in ancient days, uh, uh, on the uh, uh, rooftops, the uh, they grew different things, veg veg uh, ve vegetables and different you know things that they grew on the housetops. You see, that's what they did uh, back in those times. It's, it would seem weird today to do so, but that was a natural thing to do. You see, and as corn blasted blasted before it be grown up. You see. The time has come. It's going to be a harvest for the people. You know, like the song by the OJs. When will there be a harvest for the world? Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Thou sons have fainted because the young men of the day, they don't have no hope. They don't have no future. Their past, their past is all tainted with lies from Esau and yes, Edom. They've been dismayed. They've been broken up. They don't have no strength, no power. Pretty soon, it's going to be martial law and a draft at the same time. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 25 and verse 26, when the mighty young men of war shall be taken up. That's, that's the draft right there. You see, a lot of you young women are going to be dismayed. No longer having young men to come for your calling. You know, Isaiah chapter 39, uh, 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 32. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. The, uh, 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 Arise, you women at ease. Uh, take heed to my speech. The vintage shall, uh, uh, shall not come. The gathering, the, the gathering shall not come. The vintage shall fail you. You see, that's when all the young men that y'all relied on to help y'all, even the sugar daddies, are all going to be no more. Everybody's going to be caught up and trying to live. You see, they lie at the head of all the streets. You see, as a wild bull in a net. You see, the young men, you know, full of what? Anger and madness. You know, they don't have a future. They don't have nothing to look forward to. You see, they are full of the fury of the Lord. You see, the rebuke of thy God. You see, that's what's coming upon them. It's going to be much dismay. Wait till when the Gurga troops start going through the neighborhoods. 
Way to win Esau is Edom is roaming through all the all the neighborhood, down all the streets, in the, between the fields and the alleys with his drones and his uh, uh, android robotic uh, 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 soldiers and all these things. When prison buses are all lined up, just, just, just wait to win is dead bodies laying here and there and everywhere. You see, then that's when you're going to see the, the young men, the mighty young men of war, they're not going to be sitting around, standing around, doing nothing, being gluttonous, stubborn and gluttonous, rebellious sons. Because the Bible makes it clear what to do with stubborn, gluttonous, rebellious sons. Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 18 through 21. You see, so it's part of their their, their judgment. You see, that Esau is Edom, Edom is going to rain down upon them. Because a lot of the young men today, today are nothing more than stubborn, gluttonous, rebellious sons. You see, and what do you do? You stone them to death. You stone them to death. And back in that was back in ancient times. And so in today, in today's time, the stone is what? That hot lead. That hot lead. That's a stone. You see, and you place that. Uh, uh, it's in the form of a bullet, and you place it in the gun, and you pop, pop, pop. The uh, uh, dumb young fools. And when you do so, by doing so automatically, uh, that what? That's a stoning, stoning them to death. You see, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 43. The king of Babylon hath heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble. You see, were weak. Anguish took hold of him, you see, and pangs as of a woman in travail. You see, you see, you see, because these are the things that's coming upon who? Jacob. Jacob, Jacob's troubles, you see. Like, we like to take the time to remind you to press the like button. Go ahead and press the like button. That helps out for the algorithms of the YouTube channel. And also, if you will, please press the subscription button and, and the notification bell. Go ahead and press the su subscription button and the notification bell. This will allow, allow for you to receive a notification each time that I release a new video for your spiritual edification. As shepherds, good shepherds of the Lord, as always, our job is to provide good grazing pastures for the sheep to graze. As always, we are to feed the sheep. You see, Yahweh shies sheep. You see, now we're going to go back up into this, uh, 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 back into this word. Um, weak and pain uh, 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 of This is um, uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 17. All hands shall be feeble. And all knees shall, all knees shall be weak as water when that time comes. Because when a man's spirit is vexed and he's hurt down to his soul, he has no strength within him. No mental strength, physical strength, spiritual strength. He is down, cut down. What can he do? What can he do? You see? What can he do? Look at the screen. Is